What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Demos Diecast. Shout out to all of our returning viewers and subscribers out there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Much, much appreciated. Shout out to all of the first-time viewers and new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for joining us. We are here today with a wheel swap. Uh, this is going to be my second wheel swap on a premium die cast. Uh, so today we have the Mini GT R34 V-Spec 2. Um, so this is, yes, a Mini GT. This one just has stock wheels on it. Um, nothing special. So I had picked up a set of these BNDS wheels, which are actually um, really nice wheels. Uh, the axle in these is kind of, eh, it leaves a little to be desired because um, it's not a center bore on the wheel. So the axle just kind of pokes into the back and both wheels on one axle spin at the same rate instead of having independent wheels. Uh, but size wise, these wheels are perfect for premium die cast. Um, so I have swapped a uh, Toyota Chaser, which was a Tarmac Works Global 64. Um, show that to you here. So I did have this in another video, um, but yes, this is the same style wheel, BNDS, uh, the 9.8 millimeter, and uh, yeah, it's like a perfect fit. Um, just excellent. This guy rolls. Um, I did try to lower this one, so the axle's kind of out of whack as far as caster goes, front and rear, uh, but definitely a full roller, no issues there. And uh, yeah, they fit really nice. They look really good on the car. Let's throw that away. So we'll put that there. So you can see they, they look right. They're proportionate. They look great. So I want to take the R34. So this is going to be a Volk Racing RE30 in uh, black chrome. So let's get these out, take a look at them up close, and then let's get to work. So there is our wheel. I'll go ahead and zoom. Um, so yeah, super nice. Um, thin tire, so shouldn't have any issues with clearance or anything like that. Nice tread pattern on there. But as you can see in the back, it's just going to be a single hole. Axle is going to go into that and slide through the body. And then out the other side, the other wheel will press on. So um, let's put this back. And in your packaging, you get obviously four wheels and two axles. So uh, mini GTs are going to be screwed together. So we have a screw here, a screw here. Luckily, this rear is not covered up by the diffuser. So let's go ahead and get these screws out and get started. All right, so it took a little bit of work to get those screws out. They actually didn't even come out of the base. They just unscrewed from the body itself. So that was kind of strange, but no problem. We'll take it. So we've got our body off. This is what your interior looks like on a Mini GT for those of you who maybe haven't ever uh, opened one of these before. Um, so this is kind of pressed on a little bit, it, like pretty much snaps in place. So let's see if we can get that out without breaking anything. All right, interior's out, wheels are out. So here's our stock wheel and axle combo. Um, so we'll set these off to the side. And let's go ahead and get our other wheels out. Get our axles out. All right, so I was able to get one axle made. And we are on. Let's see what the fitment looks like on this, if it's going to be, yeah, figure that. So look at that. It's going to be a little bit too long. Um, so we'll go ahead and put our body on. And 
So when it's all the way to the side, it is perfectly flush. So that's good. Um, do roll. So I have about that much of the axle that I'm going to need to cut off. Um, this mount right here. Let's zoom in real quick. So yeah, you can see about that much I'm going to have to go cut off. So I'm going to take these downstairs, use my cutting wheel, and uh, we'll cut that off. And then I'll be back with uh, hopefully both axles um, put together. All right, so we're back. Got the axle cut. Unfortunately, um, all my stuff for cutting and stuff like that is down in the garage. So I won't be able to do all that on camera, but... I just took like a small grinding wheel, cut the axle down. You can see it's not even really cut straight per se, um, but I did get enough length, I think, that I needed. So let's get these on. And all right, so there's our axle. Get our tire nice and flush. And then we'll take our base test fit. Hopefully I didn't go too short, which I did, but the beautiful thing is we can just pull these out a little bit. So we'll put that back and we just won't push it on as far. And there's a good spot. Let's see here. So boom, there's our perfect length right there. Sick. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab the other axle. Um, I'll get one wheel on. I'm going to take my first axle that we did. And uh, then I'll just go down and cut that one to the same specifications as the old. And we should be good to go. So I've got that one on. So now we'll go ahead and pull one of these off. There. and then what I'll do is go down and we'll just cut this one to the length of the other so I'm gonna go cut that and then I'll be right back all right so back got that axle cut let's go ahead and get uh, this one I didn't cut as much off of so we could do uh, the full wheel on there so, uh -oh. You want to be careful when you press these on too that you don't damage your wheel or poke the axle through the wheel because uh, they are just, there you go, 3D printed. So they are a little bit delicate. Let's see if that one is the right length. Boom. Perfect. Let's get our rear wheel back on. There. All right, so there's our base. We got our wheel lengths set. Um, here is our interior. Um, interior kind of, like I said, snaps in. So there's that. And you can just kind of see it there. And now the moment of truth. Let's see what the wheel gap looks like once we get the body on. All right, so there it is, um, full roller. And looks like once we get it on the ground, that front's gonna close up a little bit. I'm not too crazy about that wheel gap in the rear. Um, be honest with you, it's kinda more than I care for, but what I'm gonna do is press that up, and press this side up, and hopefully what we can do is yeah, see, we gained a little bit of movement there. So now when it sits on the ground, uh, it'll close up that wheel gap pretty nice. That one there. So rear screw, it looks like the front screw did decide to finally come out. So let's get these screwed back together, and then we'll take a look at it. Got to be careful not to put too much pressure on that wing because it is fragile. Uh, but here we are. So there's our finished product, uh, full roller. Like I said, with this style of axle, both wheels are going to spin 
uh, together. They don't spin independently of each other. But um, all in all, man, super, super sick. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, another thing you can do is once you get it done, if you're not really happy with your wheel gap, but you don't want to shave the interior to give the axle some play to go up and down, um, what you can do is once you get it back together, take your roof and just push straight down. And you'll see how it kind of compresses the car. And what that's going to do is give the axles a little bit of bend to close up that wheel gap. But um, all in all, I think this came out really sick. Uh, full roller, no issues. Great there. Um, again, looking at it like this, you do have a little bit of wheel gap. But once you set that down on the ground, you do close that up just a tad. Um, and I think that's just enough to make it look nice. It's not going to be slammed like it would be on a Hot Wheels, but uh, for this car and this type of model, um, I'll roll with it. Uh, flushness, super flush. You don't have any wheel poke on the fenders. Everything is flush down the side. Everything is flush down the side here. Um, so yeah, all in all, man, super sick. And I think that black chrome really pops with that blue. So I'm happy with it. I'm going to leave this one as is. Uh, so there's that we will take our sore that we showed earlier from tarmac works uh, We'll put that there and yeah, so um, Let me get the camera off of the rig and we'll give you guys a close-up shot of what these look like um, down lower So we'll clean up our axles. These are our old axles and stock wheels here. Don't know what we'll do with these, but we'll see if we can find something to put those on. But all in all, super happy with the wheels, super happy with the swap. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Nothing too crazy today, just a super basic swap. But uh, the next video that we get into will be with Hot Wheels. And we'll talk about lowering, um, how you get axles in there, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'll do a full, tu full tutorial on those as well. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Much appreciated. Uh, let me know what you think about the swap. Let me know if you've worked with BNDS wheels before and what you think of them. Um, or just leave a comment down below about what wheels you do work with that you prefer um, over the BNDS or whatever style you have. So thank you guys again for tuning in. Much appreciated. Don't forget to hit that like button. Um, comment again down below. Uh, share the channel, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and we will see you guys shortly on the next one. One love.